to my channel today I'm going to be doing like a vlog style video because I'm going to be showing you some of the DIY items that I've created in my room to make it a very Victorian feel vibe my room has changed a lot since I last did a um, a tour my entire apartment has changed a lot like I mentioned in one of my last videos but I wanted to show you some of these DIYs because I was really excited about doing them. I did not film them all the way through. So this is going to be a talk through, really telling you how I achieved it, where I bought the things, and how I kind of went through the motions. So if you're interested in seeing this video, then please keep watching. this ornate kind of baroque um, long mirror this is a floor mirror the floor mirror I purchased at hi the floor mirror I purchased at um, ooh, what did I put home goods it was a hundred bucks so the mirror is just it's a plain um, mirrored mirror with kind of this like beading on the side here this beading is attached to the mirror it's silver as, as you can see but what I did was attach these lights because I love those mirrors that have like the lights at the bottom I always wanted one but they're very expensive so I purchased these lights on Amazon I'll link them down below these are the same lights that I have on my vanity and then I went ahead and I purchased these like wooden appliques this appliques here I purchased on Aliexpress crazy these were like four bucks I think for the pair this one was maybe eight dollars and then when you go down here, you'll see these really pretty angels. These guys were a little expensive. For the pair, I think I paid $40, or maybe it was $40 for each. I, I don't know, but I wanted something in a circular um, shape at the bottom to match the other angels that I have here on my wall. Um, those are antique, but this is what I created. I attached these because this is a mirrored mirror. You can't use anything other than like an industrial style glue. So I put a little bit of um, a glue gun glue um, to the like the beading on the back of this applique just to hold it in place. And then I kind of like lathered everything else in e6000 all of this is stuck on by e6000 is very sturdy these are very sturdy they're not going anywhere the bottoms are also stuck on by e6000 the lights came with 3m adhesive um, that is used on the back they don't get hot at all and the best thing about this light these lights is that you can dim them out you can make them bright and you can turn them off which is very cool I wanted to show you guys this because I was really proud of this Baroque mirror this mirror was very easy to create if you buy a mirror like this you're gonna spend easy over three four hundred dollars but to make it was well like beneath that price this is just my take on it the most expensive part of making this mirror was actually buying the mirror the mirror itself like i said was 99 dollars from home goods i had no clue that i was going to do this to this mirror my room before i created the style that it's in now was like shabby chic it was never like luxury luxurious kind of like victorian style like it is now and this was the last piece that needed to be like zhuzhed so this is what I did the next item I want to show you is my bed crown now this bed crown is actually a shelf the shelf I purchased on eBay it was just plain white but I went ahead and mixed spray paint and kind of um, sprayed this like silver and also gold you can see I just painted the whole thing silver and then I just kind of like spritzed the gold everywhere and I attached these crystals on here with um, 
glue gun glue and then also E6000 to better secure it. And this fabric I purchased on Amazon. Um, it was very cheap. I just went ahead and did a quick pleat on it. You can see the pleats here. And I just ironed it on the floor, really. It was very difficult. I, I wasn't obsessed about getting it perfect because I knew I was going to just drape it over. And the way that I draped it was with by using um, thumbtacks. There are thumbtacks in here to kind of give you this like draping kind of look. I know that a lot of bed crowns kind of go all the way around, but I just didn't want that much fabric because I didn't want to worry about dust. It gets very dusty in my apartment, um, but I wanted to show you this too. This was a really good find. I will link one down below if I can find another on eBay. I purchased this on eBay. I think they said it was from like the 19... 20s or 30s it is actual um vintage and just the detailing is just so pretty it's just really beautiful so this was really inexpensive i think i paid like 20 bucks for it i went ahead and also added some rhinestones in between these little flowers and i also spray painted over those because i like the way that that looked just gives it that very Victorian gothic without being so gothic I just I love the way that this makes my bed look and how it frames it it's just so beautiful I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video I just wanted to show you some of the DIYs I've been doing I didn't show you all of them if you do want to see them I have so many in my bathroom that I'd love to talk you through like I have like those old Hollywood mirrors on my mirror on all of the mirrors in my um, bathrooms I have two bathrooms and I kind of revamped those they were like renter friendly revamping um, on that so if you want to see some renter friendly options on how to change like things like light fixtures or like just zhuzh up your apartment while being like within the uh, renters kind of guidelines let me know I have so many in here um, I hope you enjoyed if you did make sure to hit the like button comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next video bye guys